Boy, I tell you. I tell you, man, y'all better be careful. <laughs> you guys better be careful of the carriers that you guys to choose to work for, man. <laughs> you guys got to, you know what? It's, it's it, you know, I, I always say do your due diligence and, and do your research and everything. But now, man, you got to do a, you got to do a deep dive. You got to be an investigator when looking for a driving job after you get your cdls let's get into it welcome back to the lockout man podcast show thank you very much i really do appreciate you guys being here and while you're here why don't you help a brother out give me the hbo special that's hit the like button subscribe button and the thank you button for the support of the channel yo we just gonna go ahead and jump right into this article right here man Mm, mm, mm. What is going on with Texas? It seems that all types of violators when it comes to trucking all hail from the great state of Texas. That's where the young man, uh, his company, Costello, I believe, Costello Logistics or some shit like that. They was held out of Texas. You know, the, you, you, you remember the young man that that just had 110, but that was chopped down to about 25 after his brakes gave out and he caused that catastrophe in Denver. Y'all remember him? His company was out of Texas. Here you go. Episode one of another Texas company that was told by the FMCSA to shut its doors. Everybody that was driving for the company are now out of work. Not sure what's going to happen to them. Hopefully they're able to find something else. But going through the article, I, I see some strange things that was going on with this company. So the FMCSA carrier, they declare a Texas-based motor carrier to immediately They said that this carrier is a hazard to public safety. On May 7, 2022, Houston-based carrier Jaypour Logistics LLC was served a federal order to immediately cease and, dece cease and desist all interstate and intrastate operations. The FMCSA says that Jaypour Logistics was targeted for an investigation based on the carrier's widespread violations documented by FMCSAs and partners doing roadside investigations. Man, bruh, all y'all trucks. That means that every time the truck goes through the way station, they always got to get pulled over for an, I mean, for roadside assistance. That doesn't mean that, you know, they pulling you in there because of they pulling you in there. They pulling you in there because the, the company that you're driving for is dinged on the system. You being the driver for the company, like, God damn, why am I always being pulled into the way station? I did my pre and post trip. Everything looks good, but you're always pulled into the way station because of the CSA scores of the, of the carrier that you drive for. So now you got to include what you're doing. You know, when you're looking for a company, you got to include the question, how's your CSA scores? How's your safety scores? You know, I mean, when I get pulled into a way station, am I going to get pulled into a way station all the time? I need to know that because us drivers don't like going through way stations. I'm just saying. Let's get back to it. According to officials, j -Poor Logistics has nearly doubled the national average of vehicle out-of-service rate and over five times the national rate average of driver out of service rate. FMCSA investigators say that Jaypour Logistics was erroneously non-compliant with multiple federal safety regulations, including controlled substance, 
So I guess your drivers just smoke weed every day and you just overlook that part, right? Okay. Alcohol use. Wow. Okay. Drunk drivers? Come on now. And testing commercial driver's license standards. Driver's qualifications. Unsafe driving. Hours of service of drivers. And vehicle inspection and repair and maintenance. From FMCSA, during the investigation, J-Port Logistics demonstrated a severe lack of oversight of its operations. It can only identify a fraction of the drivers and vehicle operations up under its authority and not even aware of its drivers had hauled hazardous materials, meaning that if you don't have a hazmat endorsement, you're you're pulling hazmat, and this company don't know that you're pulling hazmat. How is that possible that the company don't know what you're pulling? Ooh. J Port Logistics failed to ensure its drivers were eligible to drive, allowing six drivers who were already prohibited in the FMCSA's clearinghouse. Wow. Whoa. In other words, they allow the drivers, even though that they was in the clearinghouse, knowing that they can't drive until they complete the SAP program, but they still allow them to drive. Whew. Twice j -Port Logistics drivers has been cited for operating up under the influence and three times its drivers has been cited for on-duty procession of drugs and alcohol. Smoke weed every day. All you guys that over here that's talking about, oh, we don't do nothing. I don't understand why why we did, why do we get tested for weed and everything, but obviously it must be something if FMCSA is shutting them down. Smoke weed every day. But don't get me wrong, I'm I, I'm just speculating on the weed part. All right. It could be any number of drugs. Smoke weed every day. But weed is just the is, is the main one that a lot of drivers tend to use while they driving. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get at me in the comments below. <laughs> they also was in possession of drugs and I mean of alcohol as well. Now it is it is not a policy to keep alcohol in your truck. But if you're on your 34 or on some type of reset, maybe, but you're not supposed to have any type of alcohol in the vehicle at all. I did have some alcoholic beverages in his cooler. Uh, so I found four Bush Light 12 ounce and then a Cayman Jack margarita. And it's, a, it's unlawful to have and possess alcohol in a commercial motor vehicle. J Port Logistics did not have a program to dictate or deter the use of controlled substance by its drivers. Not having an effective program to ensure its drivers were qualified and licensed. Did not have a program to control its drivers' hours of service. Did not have a program to ensure vehicles was appropriately inspected and repaired jeez j poor what is you doing the fmcsa's hazard out of service order states that j poor logistics complete and utterly disregard for federal safety regulations subs uh, subsequently increased the likelihood of a serious injury and or death for your drivers and the motoring public. If your operations are not discounted immediately. j -Port Logistics, man, out of Texas. What are you doing? What kind of, what, what kind of operations are you doing down there, man? What is up with the great state of Texas that all these bad companies is coming from? But again, as I said before, 
you know, for the new drivers that's coming in, that's, you know, that's looking to get with the company and we tell you to do your research, you really going to have to deep dive in the research of these companies, especially these companies that you, you know, that you probably might not heard of. Now, I never heard of Jaypor. This is probably one of them companies that advertise in Craigslist, in the uh, maybe one of them companies that have the Facebook ads. Those are the companies that you really, really got to look at. And those are the companies that you really, really got to search for to make sure that they're on the up and up. They had drivers on, uh, they had drivers that was driving for them that was in the F, I mean, that was in the FMCSA's clearinghouse that they wasn't even supposed to be driving. Drivers that had alcohol, beverages on their trucks. Drivers that was, that, that was erroneously caught with weed or anything or anything such drugs. You got to make sure that these companies that you that you looking to drive for, you got to make sure that, again, like I said, that they're on the up and up. All right. So. <laughs> Jaypore. Logistics out of business. So whatever the guys that they had driving there that was getting away with, with driving, you know, while in this FMCSA, listen, y'all, y'all got to go ahead and uh, go through that SAP program in order to get into a better company. I don't know. But tell me what you guys think. Get some suggestions in the comments, too, man. Like, I mean, what what do these new drivers have to do? in order to make sure that the that the company that they drive for is on the up and up. Let me know in the comments below, all right? Let's get the conversation started. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. You guys take it easy. The best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy. Big G's got it locked. Boy. What you doing, y'all?